<coughs> okay, uh, alright kelas ya. Eh. Okay, kita mulakan kita punya our class ni dengan bacaan buku kitab Al-Fatihah. Eh. Ya, kan. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and very good morning to all of you. Welcome to System Design. Eh. My name is Hairul Anwar bin Abdullah. Uh, I'm your lecturer for Section 10. Eh. So, this is Section 10 of your uh, System Design. Eh. If I'm not mistaken, suppose we have, I think, about 35 students eh, for Section 10. Tetapi, if I look in this, um, mungkin uh, we only have... 25 eh, another 10 missing. Oh, semua ada ke? Just to check eh, how many participants you have. 26. 9 missing. Suppose ada 35 students. <coughs> okay, class. Alright. Um, class ni is, uh, this is a system design eh. System Design SEMM uh, for 533. So this is your final year, uh, first semester. So System Design is uh, about design. Eh? Design punya course. Eh? Design punya course. Eh? Remember that uh, you have taken the during your first year, second SEM, I2D. Remember I2D? Class? Introduction yes. to Design? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, this class more or less similar similar like your i2d eh? introduction to design because your first year um, kita give you pendedahan we give you exposure exposure to about design <coughs> about design process give you awareness not just exposure awareness you must notice that about design process about how you solve problem also about how you generate creativity and when you're giving a project you must use that design process okay so in that first year that's why in your first year we give you introduction to design to make you alert to make you aware to expose to you about design what is design so from i to d that you have learned during your first year you learn about design process so design process too is a very important, is a, boleh kita cakap backbones dalam bila you be given a design task, when you be given a design project, do not ignore, do not, uh, kita cakap lupakan, do not abaikan, do not ignore the, the what you have learned from I to D. Because that is very important, because um, <coughs> banyak perkara yang berlaku, sadly I say you, and macam, previous student eh, during uh, on your when you okay you have taken i2d then after that on your subject mechatronics to what year mechatronics you have taken right mechatronics what year is that when you have, oh you in it you are um, manufacturing uh, manufacturing oh sorry sorry okay you are manufacturing eh? okay i do do satu lagi is pure mechanical okay manufacturing okay pure mechanical during your second year or your third, you have some courses that, the, like for example, like Mechatronic, the lecturer give you a design project. Macam they ask the student to design a control car that could pick up a ping pong ball. Uh, uh, that is a design project. Eh? Tapi that not I2D punya course, that is under Mechatronic. When you, when you are in that course, because sadly, eh, the student report, I, I got to know, when this, because the lecturer who teach, who teach Mechatronic, the lecturer don't know about design. They are not design-based lecturer like me. In that course, they learn mechatronic about control system, Arduino and so on. <clears throat> okay, that course, they have major project. The lecturer always must give a project to student. Uh, that is a project-based a design. They ask the student to design a device for, uh, that could pick up a ping pong ball and drop it at one point. Pick at one point, drop it at one point. So that is a design task. A design project. Sadly, I heard that the student, when they be given by the lecturer that kind of design project, 
Okay, then when the lecturer give them the project, they are very excited. Okay, because normally when the lecturer give the project, the student must be by team lah, by group. So the student, when they receive the task, they receive the project straight away, they jump straight to the solution, how to solve their problem. Bad mistake. Understand what I mean? Very bad mistake. <laughs> when you give given a problem uh, about design, design project, uh, a problem to be solved, do not straight away jump to solution, especially you are a group of five students. You are one group, five students. You have five kepala, lima orang, five person and you jump to produce only one solution as the first mistake straight to solve the problem cannot second mistake five people group of five working on one solution second bad mistake so because they okay sadly I think, very disappointing because they didn't practice what the knowledge they've been given when they have learned i2d okay that's my point i'm talking right now lah. Okay, I2D, we teach you about design process because designing, memang you work as a team, you don't work alone. When you be given a design project, not just in this university, when you graduate, maybe you join a design department, design research R&D. When you have, maybe you form your own company as a design consultant, you always be given a project by your client. You will work as a team. No, no, no such thing design, you work alone unless your final your project. Project memang you work alone. Macam if you are taking your final year project under me, design, I give you design project title. Of course, that one you have to work alone because final year project you are alone. Maybe you can work with your among your friends. Tapi normally, to tell you the truth, design project we work as a team. Okay, do not okay because that's why yeah, mechatronic punya issue. Tu. The student in mechatronic they straight away when they get the lecturer, the lecturer of mechatronic they don't know about design. They know about mechatronic, they, they give the student project. So the student in group of three or four or five, straight away when receive a project, straight away jump, sit around the table, five person on one group, straight away do sketching, five people doing on one solution. It's a waste. Another bad mistake, straight away to solve the problem, bad mistake. That's why what you have learned in your I2D, too, you have to implement what you through all your punya, all design based project lah. any any courses that the lecturer give you a design project you use the knowledge what you have learned from i2d okay i2d we already taught you eh? like mine i teach you i2d eh, during your first year we teach you about design process eh? remember in my class in i2d i always ask students the first day in my class in i2d classes in your first year i ask students i ask the student one by one i ask them what is design so the student always cannot, some of them can answer, they say, uh, some cannot answer. Most of the student, boleh katakan, every every student cakap design is about uh, you draw something, you sketch something. Okay, the answer is right. Lepas tu, I compile all the answer when you I jot down on the whiteboard, that time during face-to-face, -face, then we come up to the solution. Actually, when people ask you, what is design? When you say, what is design? The answer is design, actually design involves everything. You sketch something, you design something, you create something. A lot of answer from students. We create, we do prototypes, sir. we do R&D, sir. We do, then we do some survey, sir. We do some background study. We do materials, sir. The strength of the company. Every, yes, everything, the answer is right. When we draw all the keyword, keyword, then we compile it. Then we summarize. Actually, the best answer is a process. Because design involves everything. Don't just use sketching ideas, not just sketching. That is part of it. But basically, design is everything it involves everything from your market survey even you do marketing you do market survey you identify your product you're going to design is it marketable or not is it is it going to be profitable sometimes when you design a prototype your design is very sophisticated memang solve the problem that be given to you but at the end sometimes it fails in terms of cannot be market it don't have a response from the market it means not uh apa, cannot be it's not marketable tak boleh di market kan because sometimes you have to identify, so it involves everything. Design, not just your design, you sketch idea, engineering, analysis, not just, even the market also involved. So actually design, just like design you everything. That's why the best answer, when people ask you what is design, the answer is design is a process. Design is a process of solving problem because we give you project, you solve the problem. Design is a process of solving problem by because design is process, because everything is a process. Design is a process of solving problem by 
generating alternatives <clears throat> or concept we call ideas or sometimes we call it alternatives because you are work group of five students eh? you don't work alone you as a team of five maybe ten eh? okay my average is five you don't produce one solution you produce a lot of solution that's why design is a process of solving problem by generating you mean you produce ideas by generating alternatives or we call it ideas concept the best word is alternative alternative by generating alternatives as remember alternatives is plural not alternative by generating idea i didn't say idea by generating ideas by generating concepts plural lot of idea because you are group of five kalau group of five you must at least one person one idea tapi the best one person one team member three ideas kalau you are group of, group of five 15 ideas. That's why you don't produce. That's why yang cakap dalam isu yang macam banyak incident happen eh. The mechatronic punya courses. When student make a lecturer mechatronic gives the student do the project, give the project, the student group of five straight away jump to solution. Straight away jump to solution, not go to design process. That is a bad mistake. That is a first mistake. The second thing, they straight group of five working on one solution. Totally waste. So it shows that the student have not learned what they have learned from I2D. Bad mistake. Eh? Very disappointing eh? because we lecture, we teach you I2D. So implement the knowledge. <clears throat> okay, that's why I repeat again. Design is a process of solving problem by generating alternatives. Plural, lot of ideas. Eh? Alternative idea or concept. And find the best solution. Faham tak, class? Faham tak apa saya punya the word tu? What is design? Answer me. Class, I ask you again, what is design? The just... process of solving problem by generating ideas or concepts or alternatives and find the best solution. Yeah, right. Good. Very good. That's the answer. Nanti kalau when you go for interview kerja, Mana tahu you work with Dyson, Dyson is the design company. Pasal Malaysia right now, we are not, pasal even UKM pun sekarang ni, the EAC panel won the all the university to implement IDP. Design is now very number one now dalam every university. IDP, you know about IDP, Integrated Design Project. Now every university in Malaysia, are you university like UKM, must ada implement IDP in their mechanical program. <coughs> integrated design program it mean the whole course from first and start from now on other chiri chiri design because now bau our government we must be aware we're not just a company when you work company you're involved manufacturing now we gonna produce our design our own product and until you will graduate and again you will farm firm eh? jangan not just work under company sometimes you be independent you work as a team become design consultant that's good guy after you graduate nanti. you learn the knowledge what you have learned from this system design course and you find you apa, what I call it you as a team you and your group members in this course also you find you gather balik you form a company maybe you search go for experience first you form a company, design this company, design consultant. Banyak I that see, eh, macam even in Johor Bahru, yeah, we have a lot of design consultant and they work with Canon, printer and so on. Because big, big company and manufacturer, sometimes they, they don't have R&D. They don't want to spend money on doing R&D. So it means they, they, they hire design consultant outside. So you are kind, you are the company, you form a eh, design consultant. So you use the knowledge that you learn in this course. Okay, that's the answer, right? When you go, nanti, katakan you go for interview of a company in Dyson Design Big Company. The first question the interviewer will ask you, what is design? Kalau your answer is uh, design, uh, design is something you create, something uh, you scarce, you, uh, uh, your answer is not right. So you want to get a job, you want to get employed, the right answer is, apa? Apa dia guys? Design. Apa dia design? Repeat me. Repeat everything. What is design? Eh, baru saja saya cakap tadi. Tadi siapa yang cakap tadi betul? Apa dia? What is design? All the class. Cakap apa dia? What is design? The process. It's a process of solving problem by generating alternative concept ideas and find the best solution. Very good. That's the answer. Okay, kalau you jawab macam tu, the interviewer terdiam. Terus dapat kerja. Dia never ask you more. Terus dapat you are employed. <laughs> InsyaAllah lah macam tu. That's the best answer. Okay, kalau you punya answer is uh, um, about uh, uh, create a uh, sketching uh, um, design when you you do uh, 
we do prototype uh, term, but answer is not firm lah. Kalau you give the right answer, okay, the interviewer know this student memang no design. This student memang have learned design. So that is design. Actually, kalau you search on internet, banyak answer. Maybe in different lecture, the answer is different. Tapi this is my term lah eh. My, this is one simple answer, good answer when people ask you what is design. Okay, class, this is about, uh, yeah, the class, it is uh, about uh, intro, eh, about uh, design process. Okay, this, uh, this course in terus kat system design, we call it design. Asal long time ago, nama course ni product design. Tapi kita dah ubah why we have change the title to system long time ago, eh, system design. So, it's a course, this course is three credit. You don't have exam in this courses, no test one, no test two, tak ada assignment, tutorials, no. <coughs> Tapi, no final exam even, no test one, no test two, no final exam. Tetapi, that one be replaced, uh, you punya load will be project. You have only major project. Eh? You don't, we don't have minor. Minor project are part of it, actually part of your, actually we have major project. Eh? Major project. So, you will work as a team. Remember, dalam design, you cannot work alone. You must see a group of teams. So, right after this, eh, pasal kita kalah ni tiga jam, eh. So I don't go for three hours lah, maybe about two hours the most. Eh? So you you apa, form a team. Boleh eh? form a team. I don't want to assign lah macam you form a team. Tetapi when you form a team, be careful eh. Uh, just I want to, jangan just simply, simply you just pilih, choose your friend uh, because you <coughs> a strong team. But then remember, when you form a team of five, a strong team, how to form a team? Make sure the best team member, you select the member. So one need the other strong on something. Understand? Right? Pump that class. <coughs> Pasal dalam design ni, kita multi-discipline. You are group of five. Try to form. I think this class is 35 students. So cantik lah. Maybe kalau student drop tu, tak apa lah. Kalau 35 student, you group of five. So we have seven groups. So right after that, you form a group of five. Make sure uh, try the best lah. I, tak, ni lah. I, I encourage you to get a team member that each you this team member he is good. Macam one this one of your team member he is good doing on marketing. Aha, macam tu. He, he is good on talking marketing. Macam nak interview customer, want to to do survey about market, about the latest about the product, anything lah related. This guy is good good. On it. That's the best of team member. Because it's a multi-discipline. Because designing your team, you're multi-discipline. Multi-discipline means each one of you have strong, strong on something. Because I believe all of you is manufacturing, right? So you might ask me, sir, we don't, our specialty manufacturing. No. Besides manufacturing, maybe one of you good on doing, like talking. Talking to client. Because when you design, you involve your client, you will call them. Pasal sekarang ni is pandemic lah. Maybe what you can do, WhatsApp and call. Or if the pandemic is over, you can go to face. You have, uh, kalau you have transport, you have you have to visit the site. You have to visit the site. You have to talk to the customer eh, as a team. Someone do good on maybe engineering analysis. Someone good on, uh, it's good to be like that. <coughs> it's good to be, eh? that's the best thing member. Dia alter multidisciplinary. Apa? Multidisciplinary. Dia tak boleh, it's good. Kalau tak boleh, tak apa, it's okay. You can find a group of five lah. Tapi just to, to be aware, design is a team member yang multidisciplinary multidiscipline is much better. So one is good. Pasal when you have strong in something, when you combine, you become a good team, a very strong team. So you form a group of five. Nanti dah tahu lah lepas. I, I think I got to give you some briefing, eh, a lecture a little bit lah about design. Okay, paham kelah ada questions setakat ni? Kita tak ada, we don't have test one, test two, no assignment. Uh, assignment tak ada little bit based on your design, lah, project based and we don't have final exam. What we have is a major project. So it means uh, you have to do, you have to go through design process. I teach you again what you have learned from your IUTD. But this one, your design process, you learn in system design more, more little bit different than IUTD because because you are on your fourth year. Because fourth year, it means you already gather knowledge. You already become matured. Yeah? You already established. Because you already learned a lot, you have learned a lot of the core subject like static, dynamic, mechanical of solids, mechanic of solids. Uh, maybe manufacturing, you have taken fluid, ambil kan? Temu ambil kan? Sir. Manufacturing. Ambil. Sir, uh, uh, yes. I want to say something. Right. Uh, so, we have only one project. Isn't yeah, it? one project. One project. Project, okay, project already there already. No, no, I, I give you the title. It's about um, lembu. Kau. 
agricultural ni uh, feed mill is about uh, you know this cow eh lembu okay. you are from i'm from yemen yemen eh? it's about yeah. cow yeah. cow uh, ni apa ni lembu uh, we have a uh, agri of this what we call it uh, ladang ternakan eh in english someone sorry why we call it ladang ternakan in english someone volunteer ladang ternakan in english in simpan enggam okay this we you the process because that uh, what we call it that farm eh that cow farm too they they they, they breeding the cows and uh, they do it manual job their their workers do manual job of how they feeding the cow all the cows uh and how, how they doing the basing eh, mandi kan eh? washing washing the cow basing we have two part one is feeding they do it manually feeding they have their punya farm there there a lot of cow in the what we call it the punya kandang there eh? dia punya tu dia punya like the what we call I said, no sorry my english not that good sorry that the what we call garage garage kandang kanang like garage of cows how they, they do manual job of feeding the calf every early in the morning so you have to design a system lah to solve their problem okay we have two part and maybe one of your group will do on feeding one or you group on doing on washing the cows basing okay. the cows um, you maybe you punya design is kind of machine or device or a system you can propose because since we are on pandemic um it might uh, apa, um, i cannot tell you because maybe i have some rumors maybe on your next nice week maybe we will be face to face or maybe not some some about someone about somebody maybe we are totally fully online let's assume we are totally online so you cannot uh, maybe your prototype eh, at the end you will do a prototype your prototype will be enough i'm not sure eh, tapi uh, if fully online your prototype will be virtual prototype you end up with uh, maybe solid modeling with solid work lah. maybe you can do some simulation okay you design you have to you have to categorize eh, so you you and your group will choose eh, or i assign you certain group doing on feeding certain group doing on washing the cows basing the cows the the place of the the company the okay. farm is at simpan enggam here at johor malaysia simpan enggam if you are if we are doing face to face guys eh badly we are pandemic right if we are doing the face to face this is first week our first job we have to visit the company we will arrange for you to apa, the bus for you transport and we will visit this week also this week the first week because the best even we game design project you are the design team you are doing the project you must visit your client you must visit the site that is the best way I remember fast pass semester in my design system design course I give the student about fish automatic fish feeding device eh? uh, it's about all these exotic fish like uh, ikan gapi gapi small goldfish uh, that we visit to the farm fish feeding punya um, uh, industry apa, <coughs> company eh? they, they they're breeding the all these exotic fish our first week we go there i i arrange the student that transport we go there and we visit the company because that company give us the project okay this time is about cow eh? lembu eh <coughs> in malaysia is lembu <coughs> farm machine eh? farm farm punya industry lah agriculture eh? <coughs> uh, now the name of the company is finished so the best if you visit but during the pandemic so we are lecturers uh, because since pandemic i think this week uh, the lecturers only visit the company maybe on this wednesday or maybe next week so we will go there we will record some videos and we will send it to you lah. <coughs> give you the video so you have some basic idea what we're going to do all right <coughs> all right Okay, class. Okay. Um. All right. Boleh ya? Eh? I show you some slide, class. Eh, about uh, at least you can briefing lah. Can ada intro. Eh. <coughs> title of the project. I already mentioned. I give you some tadi announcement tadi about the title of project. And um. I have to give you some lectures on this. Okay. Uh, let me share.
Okay, guys, uh, can you see the slide? Yes. Okay, this slide is just to, <coughs> to what we call it, to remind you, okay, to refresh balik you punya knowledge what you have learned from I2D, eh? about design process that I, I already mentioned just now, uh, so that because apa ni, it happens, yeah. like, they become like a, I can call it syndrome, student already learn in I2D, when they go for second year, third year, fourth year, like, like as if that they total, totally forgotten, eh? totally forgot what they have learned I2D, too bad, eh? that's a really bad mistake eh, to tell you, apply that knowledge, eh? what you have learned about design process, eh? So that one is uh, very important when you be given a design task, a design tool. The first thing you have to go through the process. Like we have already told, design is a process, a process. You have to go through the process. When, when your lecturer give you a design project, you don't straight away jump to solution. That is a bad mistake. Another thing, you group of five working on only one solution. Totally bad because you have to produce, a, you have to go, the first thing you have to go through the process because how come you find, do a solution when lecturer give you title and straight away you try to solve it by straight away jump to solution. How can you try to solve that problem? You already, you don't know actually about the project. You don't know what is the, what we call it, the, the, the issue, all the thing, the storyline, what is what happening, what is the, what happening? what totally happened your information is not enough your background information is not enough you are not be apa kan body bekal kan you punya knowledge is still not enough you cannot if you solve directly you straight jump to solution okay maybe you can solve tapi your solution to is not the best solution so better you go to design process design process it mean you throw to the through that process so you 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 in sequential order systematic order you do background study and so on and so on. You collect information and so on, and you form you form a PDF. This one will be explained later, right? So that is why I will guide me as a lecturer. I get you to make sure you on the right path. When I give you the title about this uh, cow feeding machine and cow uh, what uh, basing machine, don't straight with jump to solution. You form a team and you you go through the process. That's why I want to explain in this slide. Eh? Okay, this is a slide, as you can see, eh? uh, we are system design. Eh? <coughs> system design. For example, let's go. Okay. All right. Um, so, this, what, 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 what is this? Okay, actually, this is not cow feeding machine. Eh? Sorry. <laughs> this is not cow feeding. What, what is this? This is not, not related to your title, but it represents everything. What is this, guys? Hello. Technology. What, 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 what is this? Hand Hello, can you see slide? Ni? Smartphone. Yeah. It's a smartphone, right? It's a smartphone. Okay, any product, you design a product, macam like yours will be cow feeding machine, cow basing machine, for example lah. Tapi any product, it's a product, right? It's a product. What you can tell about this product? <coughs> Apa ni, what you can tell? At your point of view of as an engineer, or maybe as a customer, uh, maybe as a public lah, or maybe at point of view, you are a student of engineer, right? What you can tell about the product? Multifunction. Multifunction. Lagi? What? User friendly. User friendly. Right. Lagi? Easy to carry. Easy to carry. Lagi, lagi? Apa lagi? Maybe tell me you more interested. Kalau you are point of... Okay. You kalau multi-function, macam, macam, the way you answer, you are point like engineer. Kalau you are just a common user, eh, not engineer, uh, we are talking, apa you punya answer? Low cost. Low cost, lagi. Features dia, features dia apa, contohnya. Apa features, spec? Kalau you don't want to buy phone, what do you, what, what do you expect? What do you want to buy? Branding. Hmm? Branding. What's that? Uh, branding. Oh, like brand. Branding, yeah. Brand, yeah. The brand, Samsung. Maybe you are loyal to Apple iPhone. I don't know why people choose iPhone. Rather. I don't know why. Because they are loyal. Because iPhone, they will say, they are loyal to iPhone. They are more, apa, uh, kita cakap more keen on iPhone rather than ni. Kalau I ni product, they cannot accept. iPhone, whatever expensive they are, sometimes the price is so overpriced and ridiculous. People still want to buy. Like this one, latest iPhone 13, right? Because to me, I prefer Android. 
Santa, okay, based on branding, because of branding. Some of you more on features like the camera, the features on the front camera, selfie camera, the video, the RAM, and so on, all the features. So it will be a lot of answer, right? Okay, tapi to my question is that, okay, right now my question is, okay, you are in system design, you are in product design, you are cost, eh? uh, cost, so you want to design a product, so this is an iPhone, right? For instance, let's say like, you, you, this is your iPhone, uh, no iPhone, a smartphone, eh? a smartphone, so from engineering point of view, eh? because I think design is a team, right? Eh? You involve a lot of things, which I grew up, okay, what, what field involved? To make this phone, you are a design team. Okay, let's say you work with Malaysian punya brand phone, maybe Oppo, Samsung, and so on. Lah. Let's say a phone, a new phone model. You are a design team. They hire you as a design consultant. You are a design team. Maybe you work under that company. Okay, what field involved to make this phone? Apa bidang yang involved to make this phone? Apa ni? <coughs> hmm? Electrical. Electrical, yes. yeah. Computers. Computers. Computer. Science. Computer science. Computer science, right, lagi. Com computer science, yeah, computer science. Uh, yeah, computer engineering, uh, computer lah. Lagi apa? Uh, material. Material lagi. Manufacturing. Manufacturing, yeah, lagi. Good, manufacturing, lagi. Ada civil engineering tak? Ada architecture? No lah, because it's building right. Civil engineering? No lah, this is not about civil, this is not about concrete, building house, building construction, still no lah. Structure tak ada kan? Yang involved apa? Actually hmm. banyak. Apa lagi? Apa, apa dia? Yeah. Electronic. Excuse? Apa dia? Electronic. Nah. Electronic, right. Kan, yeah, lagi? Banyak ni. Actually, product a lot of feeling for. Apa dia? Software. Okay, somebody. Syam, Ahmad. Okay, software engineering, right. Okay. Banyak, kan? Actually, a lot of feel. That's okay. Design. When you want to design something, it involves everybody. It involves a lot of, a lot of, uh, kita cakap feels, right? Lot. Okay, let's say, what is the more, okay, when you work in a, okay, what is the number one punya feel to make this product? Yang paling important punya feel. Apa bidang apa? What engineering? <coughs> Tell me. For this smartphone, yes. no more software. Wrong. Electronic oh, engineering. No, wrong. What? Apa? What is it? What state there? Mechanical. Mechanical. Yes, that's why you guys are mechanical engineer. Jangan salah faham. You tengok electronic product or you pick it. Memang betul lah you are right. One, the main one of the field is electronic. Tetapi the main one is mechanical. Why? You might question it. So why is mechanical? We don't have engine there. We don't have gears inside phone. We don't have. No, mechanical is not just about engine, gears, screw, bolt, nut. No, you're totally wrong. Mechanical govern everything actually. Why? Doesn't mean this phone don't have gears, don't have engine, don't have, it doesn't mean it's not mechanical. What is mechanical actually, guys? You guys, apa you punya feel? You are student of manufacturing, right? Betul tak? Hello, guys. Kan, it orang semua manufacturing. Not... Yes, manufacturing. Satu, in every industry, to make that thing happen, Happen. Number one is mechanical. Mechanical is the punya bumbung, the parent company of manufacturing. Kita ada pure mechanical, kita ada aero, kita semua so on. Kita ada industrial, kan? Kita ada pure mechanical, termo, apa pun so on. Design macam saya design, design everything is under mechanical. Mechanical everything. So that's why you become engineer mechanical because that's why mechanical engineering is the first choice of engineering because uh, job easy to get a job, eh? First ranking job mechanical, then kemudian barulah kita go for yang electrical, electric, electronic. So electrical, electronic tu apa dia? <coughs> dia punya dalam tu lah, dia punya apa? What is the part of electronic under yours? Your actual product to manufacture, to do the manufacturing process, that is mechanical semua eh? The design, mechanical, the design, dia punya strength, that is mechanical kan? Dia punya the component and so on, so that is mechanical everything. Then we go for electronic. Electronic itu apa part in your handphone? Sensor. 
sensor, electrical, circuit board, they design how they design the PCB, right? Eh? PCB, the semiconductors, macam mana they arrange dia punya circuit. Actually, electrical engineering ni, dia ada satu bagian power, dia ada software engineer nanti. Ada ada bagian software, ada bagian, okay, electrical more on dia punya base, dia punya PCB, dia punya all the range of, the, they design the circuit first, dia punya how much power you need, dia punya resistor, I, I'm not mechanical, uh, electrical lah, tapi more or less I can see like that, they design dia punya structure, layout dulu. Uh, then kemudian, electronic lah, electrical engineering, the power using, macam dia design dia punya circuit lah, to make sure fully functional dengan all the hardware lah, macam the screen, LED screen and so on, dengan dia punya capacity of storage, RAM, Okay, and then we have uh, manufacturing. Okay, actually manufacturing under mechanical lah. Manufacturing, how do manufacture? Macam you guys lah, you student eh. Manufacturing also under mechanical actually. How we fabricate? Industry macam mana eh? Important lah manufacturer, engineer kan. How you manufacturing? How, how much dalam your company tu? Is it mass production? Is it custom make your phone? How do you want to fabricate? What you involve dengan materials, right? If it's metal, it's thermoplastic. It's about manufacturing process, the production rate the work in progress, raw material and so on. So you know better lah, you are manufacturer student. It's about manufacturing. So manufacturing punya field ada. Okay, uh, another thing is industrial design. So what is industrial design guys? <coughs> How industrial design? Okay, industrial design ni actually the host sebenarnya eh, kalau we design a product, kalau you form a team, actually industrial design ni macam kita ni, tapi industrial design they are more on, uh, industrial design actually they are more on the aesthetic look. Kalau kita, you engineer, macam you want to design a phone, kita, we are engineer. Sometimes kita, sometimes kita don't have the, kita cakap like the artistic punya ni, the look, the aesthetic, the look of the product, the 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 the, the, the user interface of the product. That is that's the design, like more on, not just ergonomic, the user interface, the size of the product, the button, so it means that Industrial design punya student ni, dulu kita we have in here, in, but now they transfer, they are in UTM. They are more on, they are not just a product design, they are more on, they For example, you punya product at the end when you market, your product, your prototype, you punya product when you design, not, the, don't have the aesthetic look, don't have the, don't have the look that, that could attract the customer. Your product is not successful. Eh? Tak akan berjaya. So industrial design is about that. They know about the color, the form, the shape of your new product. They are well trained on that. They are well. They are. They have. They are expert on that. So. That lip kita tak boleh. Uh, tapi kalau you have a team yang good on artist. That's why when you I ask you to form a team, make sure one of you guys yang good in art. Rasa kita tak ada industry design student here. Tapi one of you in good on sketching, on good on producing. Dia dia, dia boleh dia, he can produce saya apa tu? Make make, make. Make use of his talent. Make sure you want of your team members around that. That's why to form a team, you identify your team members. Okay, you ambil meeting. Make sure computer engineering is about what? Tadi you mentioned tadi. Computer is about, tadi electronic about your PCB circuit board. Computer engineering more on the location of your hard disk, your power, you punya computer, you punya apa? When you design a computer, this one is handphone. Actually, handphone actually dah become like a mini PC lah eh, dalam dia. Where is the location of you punya storage capacity, the display screen, the RAM tu macam mana. That is computer. Dan itu yang engineer yang dia akan locate kan eh. Dia akan use the standard for handphone, for PC macam ni. For laptop like this, they know. For 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 smartphone, what is the standard that we have to use. That's why dalam Team tu mesti of design mesti ada people people on it. They know about what what type of chips we gonna use, what type of storage we want to use, what type of RAM we gonna use for phone to make sure we are on standard, we are on par with the competitors' product. So that is computer engineering. So we have another field of software engineering. Software engineering is about what software you gonna, gonna use. Okay, macam remember, remember, do you know the cerita about uh, guys? Are you listening on me? Boleh boleh bawa lagi? Okay, Kena eh? boleh? Eh? Saya boleh 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 boleh. Boleh boleh boleh.
software engineering mesti ada team member you also have a team member software engineering software engineering you punya team member software engineers ni they know remember about you know story about yang apa tu phone yang dah bankrupt tu apa nama dia Nokia Nokia Sony Nokia nah Nokia no Sony pun ha, Sony pun dah ni kan ha, cik yang paling famous Nokia lah Nokia dulu masa korang budak kecil dulu when you are still kids Nokia is number one eh kalau ni eh, handphone eh Dulu tak pakai, tak panggil. Dulu nama dia handphone, not smartphone. Pasal smartphone tu, bila kita dah ada all this display screen lah, ada handphone. Nokia is number one tau. Masa teknologi GSM. Belum ada 3G lagi, GSM kan. Yang pay where phone, you can read text, message and SMS only. And MM adalah mati media, tapi not screen dia ni lah. <coughs> still apa tu. GSM teknologi. Dia punya telecommunication, punya data transfer teknologi still GSM. Nokia was number one. Okay, bila bila that entry 2004, I don't know remember when uh, Apple introduced uh, iPhone kan kita ni. <coughs> Nokia dia nak catch up, dia pun nak buat pasal before that phone ada button button lah, button button and small screen. Tetapi uh, Apple revolutionalize ya, eh, revolutionalize uh, iPhone. Uh, all the competitors like Samsung semua try to catch up lah because Apple dah start use iPhone, Nokia also want to do a screen lah with technology 3G lah when we have a start, they, they want to call start smartphone eh? because of iPhone that they using smartphone. Tetapi Nokia bila dia buat, dia buat, dia catch up, dia punya, dia punya apa, <coughs> dia punya leader of the company lah, eh? dia punya R&D team lah, dia punya tu. They, they catch up, they are doing right. Tetapi, the software engineer, and he's talking about software engineer. They are software engineer consultant make a wrong choice. Eh? The software, he bought the punya operating system. They choose, they didn't use, they reject Google Android. Masa tu Google Android dah start eh. Samsung start Android. All the phone macam yang coming up dulu macam, dulu dah ada LG, sekarang LG pun dah ada. All the other phone computer, not Android phone, they using Android. Nampak tak? We have iPhone satu lagi is Android. Nokia, They made a bad mistake. Nanti lah, dia punya team member, dia software engineer, make a bad mistake. They do, they don't choose Android as dia punya base of dia punya software, dia punya operating OS. They use, apa nama dia, Symbian lah. Kalau you tengok dia punya history, ni very ni, good story ni. As a lesson. They choose Symbian lah. Symbian pun kau tak pernah dengar eh, Symbian. Hello guys. Tak, so, tak pernah. Ah, Windows Mobile pernah dengar tak? Windows Mobile. Selain daripada Android dulu-dulu. Pernah kan? Pernah, dulu, pernah. Microsoft, ah, pun tak menjadi not that, not that, ni kan? Not that ni. Android yang ni kan? iPhone or Android? Itu je. Ah, itu yang Nokia, dia use Symbian as dia punya software. Itulah nampak the team member, one of the team member dalam dia punya design, dia punya Nokia punya phone punya. Dia, dia punya team made a bad mistake. That's why the team have to make the right decision. They use Symbian. Symbian tu macam try to serentak dengan Android lah eh, tapi dia competitors. Tapi Symbian ni, it's a good, actually Symbian is a good. Actually sebenarnya Symbian dia punya spec dia macam dia, it, ada certain thing that is much better than Android. Tetapi in term of supportive eh, supporting, supportive semua, uh, supporting of ni a lot of ni, uh, dia kurang. Tapi actually setempat is good better. Tetapi that's why too bad eh. Tapi Symbian tak menjadi. Because that's why jadi people will not the buy phone. So simply one of the reason of Nokia not just maybe the features or because they 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 are they open your phone using make a bad mistake using the wrong OS. Uh, that is software engineer. That's my point. That's why apa what happened to Nokia. Dapat di Symbian dan kemudian dia dah jatuh. Terus dia drop. Dia try to catch up. Dia try to buat Android phone dah tak menjadi. Once you dah go down, you nak catch up dah susah eh. Susah. That's why the team member software engineer is software engineer is about choosing the OS lah. Operating. Then we have uh, sales and marketing. Ah, nampak tak ni sales and marketing? Hello guys. Ah, sales and marketing. Nampak dalam our team also sales and marketing. Okay, katakan you design a product. For example, phone. Ataupun you punya project ni will be you punya cow feeding system, cow cow basing system. You need some of your team member and doing good on sales and marketing. Okay, I believe eh, this semester ni maybe kita ada joint venture dengan student from Ahim eh. Ahib, you know Ahib in UTM, apa tu? Student from uh, Azman Hashim. Ah, Azman Hashim, ya. Yeah. Azman Hashim, ada student join. I think, I think about two, three group will join us. Nanti kita akan macam ni, they join. Maybe that team too, they, they are good. Pasal that student, they are good on on doing marketing and management. 
nanti I give you other lecture from uh, ada nanti dia recorded lecturing eh? ada lecture kita macam ada combine eh? uh, lecture on marketing okay because marketing also important my point of view showing this slide is that kenapa tak the title is multi discipline whenever you do you have multi discipline mesti when you go there when you form a design you work in a company of design you must be involved in a lot of things not just engineers not just design not just manufacturing engineer not just design engineer not just electrical engineer lot computer engineers must be there software engineers industrial designers also must be there. sales and marketing also must be there because people on sales marketing they really know this product is it marketable is this product will be for what for if we design our we we, we design our machine our product like phone macam you punya yang kau feeding yang memang work you punya prototype memang work kau feeding still or kau kau basing system machine totally work you present to the lecturer memang your lecturer very satisfied very good tetapi at the end not marketable cannot be market pasal you tak do some um, some survey you don't do market survey you 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 tak involved dengan sales and marketing so people and because that's why dalam design team in design team people from sales and marketing they have to involve so pasal they know because sales and marketing people they know about they are more close to public to customer because they are doing sales they know about customer punya requirement macam mana pasal kita kalau we are engineer when you design satu santan kita tak alert we don't aware what actually is the customer pasal kita nak satisfy the need from the customer that's design what right, kan kita when we design a product kita nak satisfy the needs from the <coughs> the needs from the customer so sales and marketing people they are doing on marketing to make sure that product our product ni bila kita develop ni while we in design it's not just after they are doing the prototype at the end of our design process even from the beginning from the beginning also we have to do some sale to do some market survey so student who are good make sure your team member you appoint one of your team member remember me what is ni i say to you appoint your one of your team member a student your team member must do good on marketing pam kalau you tak tahu lah ada student from tu lah cakap akhir akan join saya tak tahu macam mana cara collaboration tu kalau kata kalau saya dia join your team member i'm wrong demand eh demand satu based on technology changes ada dua kategori when we design product okey demand ni demand ni macam macam like you design transport like for a long time ago macam uh, zaman purba dulu long time ago stone age uh, people walking saja dan kemudian ada uh, technology getting tamadun eh getting better tamadun uh, apa kita cakap Okay, tamadun uh, different age then people go for uh, ni lah apa ni kereta kuda eh power apa ni horse ni uh, for transport uh, dan kemudian uh, industrial revolution uh, no industrial revolution uh, zaman uh, the age where perdagangan rempah uh, sutra silk and apa spices the 16 eh 15th century kan eh, 15th century people on transport eh uh, uh, mineral something like that people need more transport then we invent uh, the the people build a ship eh, to transport eh, to for perdagangan eh, perdagangan and so on that industrial revolution we have coals for people that because uh, uh, human already invented steam engine right steam engine so we need coals arang batu so to transport to for pelubungan arang batu to transport the coals not just coals and to biji-biji besi mineral semualah mineral <coughs> like tin semua so on eh biji besi timah semua people transport uh, ini because of demand eh demand eh? industrial revolution people need apa resources lah like, like coals biji uh, besi biji timah and so on so we need transport that's why kita then and also the technology is there also we are uh, in steam engine then we invent uh, apa tu apa tu train kereta api to transport asalnya in the then only we go for transport human also lah for passengers kemudian people get mobile world war one the people get more mobile okay
things like that. So we invent uh, the bicycle dan kemudian uh, <coughs> we have petrol, uh, the invention of petrol uh, demand, eh, demand, people want to get mobile based on the technology on the uh, petrol engine, we invent car, Ford motors dulu, eh, Ford invent cars and so on and now is uh, transport transportation lah, transportation and so on. But then it carry on. This based on demand, eh? based on demand. Macam sekarang ni right now in the future also maybe eh? sekarang ni apa flying car kan? Uh, sekarang ni like drone kan? Based on the technology of drone, uh, people not the maybe in the future we are have flying car by using drone. Because sekarang ni dah a lot of prototype been doing right. Even Malaysia also want to be one to uh, our flying car. I don't know. Bila dulu lah macam cerita lah like dulu eh. Dulu long time ago eh. Mobile phone dulu. Like 1980s, early 80s. Teknologi like 3G in the future 6G. We don't have that uh, telecommunication, the technology of data transfer. We don't have. Dulu we have uh, radio satellite. Dan macam you look this one, for I was yang only rich rich person, toke balak when they are in the apa remote area, okay, toke balak semua only the rich people uh, even uh, rich person only afford uh, uh, more this kind of handy like we call it uh, apa nama dia tu, uh, dia we don't call it handphone, the ato ato system eh kalau you you guys belum born lagi, you know belum born, well, I still like uh, rich person and business person. And people macam Tokyo Balak when they go to remote dekat hutan-hutan, they want to communicate, they use auto. Dia pakai radio satellite telecom eh, radio satellite technology. Pasal Lepas tu teknologi change, nampak? This by teknologi. Uh, transfer, kan? Data communication. Ada teknologi invent, we have GSM. Dulu belum 3G eh, 1990s belum 3G. GSM. GSM ni macam before 3G. They, we can only transfer, like we can make a call, we can send SMS and MMS. But it's not 3G punya uh, teknologi, still GSM, GSM teknologi. Uh, Bahasa tu yang Nokia is number one, eh, nombor Nokia number one until 2000, still GSM. Uh, okay, 2007 ni, <coughs> uh, 2000, okay, baru juga 2007 eh, uh, yang Apple introduce iPhone based on teknologi 3G kan. Because the technology or because, bukan phone build first, teknologi is there. Because researcher R&D already, already there, they are already invent the technology of 3G. I mean, because in design, kita make use of what the technology yang around us. So you have you have a designer, you must be alert of what of the current technology. You must make use of this current technology to uh, implement dalam you punya design. Implement. Okay, by 2007, Apple, Apple iPhone. Not because of iPhone, because the technology is there. 3G, no more GSM. 3G, 3G mean data transfer and multimedia. You can transfer video, snapshot, semua, eh? screen and so on. Like the one right now lah. Now we are already 5G, right? <coughs> okay, itulah dia. So, itulah technology. So, do we have smartphone lah, yang ada screen and so on. Lah. Dia ada multi, ni lah. A lot of the multitasking and so on. Okay. Um, Uh, now we have 4, then 4G, 3G. Ini yang Nokia, kenapa tak Nokia dan stand in? Nokia tu, saya cakap Nokia yang, uh, okay, technology change and so on. Now, in the future, we have 6G, right? 6G is better than 5G. Okay? I think 6G, if I'm not mistaken, 6G coming soon. And I think 6G punya ni. 6G is maybe uh, in this few years. Eh? Uh, is I think if I'm not mistaken, 6G punya data transfer is, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, 1,000, faster than 5G, if I'm not mistaken, 1,000 times, if I'm not mistaken, 6G. So, we must make use. When you want to design product, are we going to use still 5G or we want to go for 6G? Macam sekarang ni, IR 4.0, you kena make use of the current technology. That's why ciri-ciri IR 4.0, you kena make use. Okay, macam phone ni, category like when you design a phone, uh, <coughs> another kind of product when we, we technology is based on technology changes. Okay, kita kena be aware of technology. So, ada dua kind lah. Satu product based on demand, satu based on technology. Okay, boleh eh, class, alright. Okay, to tell you why is design, eh, to, to explain to you. So, design tu, when you involve dengan design, you involve dengan design process, eh, you involve dengan design process. 
Okay. So ini 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 adalah just a term to little bit explain to you lah. So bila you involve dengan design process tu, dia adalah dia kind of methodology ya. Eh. Dia ikut when you work involve dengan design ni, you involve dengan process. Dia ada requires a logical sequential analysis or design problem. You mean to you go through logical and sequential analysis because when we give you a design project, macam we give you punya kau punya project, you jangan straight away when you form a team, jangan straight away go to solution. Then you discuss in the group, you are so eager, you are so ambitious and straight away you jump solution. You do, oh kita, we do, kita buat macam ni lah, kita design macam ni. Yang paling salah sekali, lima orang bekerja satu solution. Saya memang pantang. Memang saya pantang in class, I'm totally, uh, it totally sorry I cakap, it totally, what we call it, piss me off, okay. When I see my student, group of five, five students, they sit around together, kumpul, they work and they, when I see, when I come closer, they work on one solution. Five student working solve one problem. Satu seorang do sketching yang lain, the other team member just yeah, yeah, nodding, nodding. Totally bad mistake. That's why designing. The first thing you have to go to process. You don't straight away jump to process. You have to go to sequential <coughs> logical analysis. That's why I call logical, logical and sequential analysis. True thing. Okay, just set out in stages. Okay, you must go to stages. You can equate the flow. Must follow the flow of design process. So you progressively, you can develop solution. Bila you ikut the flow, you make a background study, you define the problem, you gather all the information and you form a PDS, then only you generate ideas. Bukan throw, generate ideas. Then terus you generate ideas, wrong. You can ikut flow, what you should do, for, what you should prepare first before you produce ideas. Nanti I will get you again. Okay, set out in stages which have a progressive develop a solution to the problem set. Okay. So, satu lagi saya cakap, design ni, when you design, you kena aware of the current technologies lah. <coughs> kena aware apa technologies, kalau macam even you punya cow project ni, you kena aware, doesn't mean our cow project ni, kita ignore IR 4.0. Mungkin kita pakai. Tu kan, IR 4.0 dia ada 5G kan, dia ada uh, Wi-Fi, apa tu, Bluetooth, I don't know kan, benda ni yang kita boleh remote control of the cow use use that technology because sekarang ni ciri-ciri IR form so you can aware of the current technology given at the apa the best solution you produce the best solution eh? you generate alternatives you as a team nanti generate lot of idea but best at the end final one solution so you will filter 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 because when you generate lot of ideas you will converging first you diverge a lot of ideas maybe each one of you produce three ideas kalau you group of Five, fifteen ideas, fifteen ideas. Then you evaluate tapis based on criteria. You evaluate best ten. Evaluate again. You're doing best five through another stage. Filter again. Evaluate best three. Filter again. Then the champion. Understand me? Ah, uh, that is design. Oh, Chanti, the champion. The only one final solution. The champion. Itu bau optimum solution. Bukan when give you title, you straight away, I try to solve it wrong. Bad mistake, okay? Okay, seperti saya cakap tadi, design is a process of solving problem by generating alternative and find the best solution. Faham eh? Apa lah ayat ni? Apa lah ayat ni orang tanya, mana lah tahu you kerja nanti, orang cakap, what is design? Ah, dulu. Faham? Macam you kerja dengan polymer industri, the first thing dia buat ask you, what is polymer? Ha, you kerja, kata let's say you get it. The first question dia ask you, cepu mas punya soalan, what is a polymer? What is a plastic? Ha, you kena cari, you manufacturing kan? Nanti you kena, you kena jawab betul lah. Kalau you work with design company, like Dyson, banyak kan, lot of design company sekarang ni dah, dah ni eh, rising sekarang. They will ask you, what is design? So this is your answer, okay? Faham eh kelas, boleh tak? Boleh. Right. Wow, yeah. betul kan. Kita go to process. You learn about process ni sebenarnya korang dah belajar. I2D tu korang yang ignore. Buat saya tak cakap korang. Dulu student yang KKS yang lain lah. Korang tak eh. Saya tak menuduh korang. Korang ni. Okay. Jangan ignore kan yang you belajar. I2D you dah belajar design process ni. Ni kita refresh balik our knowledge. Mesti go through process. Lepas tu kita nak solve problem. Kita ke, bila kita dah through process, bahawa, bila kita generate alternatif, kita kena gather information tu betul-betul kan? Through, through process lah. You generate alternatif, nampak tak? Plural. Bukannya singular. Alternatives ataupun concepts ataupun ideas. Nampak tak? Kalau you group of five, each one of you, 
Minimum one lah, tetapi lagi cantik. Each one of you produce three ideas. Itu the best. Jadi kalau five of you, 15 ideas. 15 ideas. Bergaduh, bergaduh, bergaduh. Bergaduh masuk saya ni, good ni lah biar-biar. Tapi, tapi, tapi. Uh, ni brainstorming, brainstorming. Best ten, best five, best three. Then last kali, final answer. Final answer tu bukan, bukan you are fighting. You maybe you are combining this case or her ideas combine. Nah, you filter, filter, filter through evolution. Nanti kita akan go to that process. Method yang kita pakai. Nanti it through that process. Nanti before semata, adalah on week four ni tu. Uh, concept evolution macam mana. Nanti at the end you find the champion. That champion tu bukan cakap this, your team member, they win, they proud lah. Yang you kalah tak ada. The champion tu maybe combination, combine of you punya idea dengan dia punya idea combine, combine. That's the best. Bau, betul. Bau, you punya answer, you punya solution, you punya so, fight concept. Yes, right. Yes. If I if I have one design in my mind, which I think is the best design for me, mm -hmm. so do I have to design <coughs> two more just to have three designs? Yeah, I, I, I each team member, uh, the best is the the more you do produce, the much better lah. You know, but if I have only one design which i think is the best one mm. why do we have to you? also <coughs> so do you I have also to design two more because design is a team you have five mm. team members you are one of them okay that's why in yeah, this I, know, term, I know yeah i'm yeah. talking about myself i'm talking if about you are, uh, if you're yourself like for example your final year project right you alone uh, yes final year project uh that's one kita yeah that's why we cannot apa, uh, actually you have to produce a lot of solution no you cannot mm -hmm. produce one if you're working alone you have to produce even actually to tell you the truth factual eh? design no such thing yes. as individual yes Tip. understand me eh? okay tapi this is your special case like for, yeah i understand my student also i have a student i have four students doing fyp with me design this i understand it uh they are so you I mean so i would so they produce they are just one so they produce no i ask them to produce the rules. maybe they can work with their companion right maybe, kind of work. okay tapi uh, to, to me you you produce at least three then you evaluate okay. three solution no no such thing as you just one solution because we want to find the best solution see the see the term here the last what find the best solution how is that you can find you only produce one idea all right if okay, you want okay. to take ideas, then you Go can produce the ideas. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. This is a term where the ghost create space. So, okay. I said the real you engineer can rely on design process. Itu I cakap rely on the design process. Do not ignore you know them. Eh? So, okay. It's a serious. Step. Very important. Okay. Very important. Realize must go to design process. Serious step to use come up. Solution. Jangan ignore. Jangan straight away to solution. Totally wrong. Eh, guys. I repeat again and again. Okay, this is a very design process. You can search for internet. Banyak, eh? like current university, current country practice different. Like me, I, I took a master in engineering design. My master is engineering design. Product design. Lah. Mine, I, uh, UK. Labra University, UK. My, I show you. My process, a little bit like. Tapi in this course, kita punya process ada. Kita dah, we dah already what we call it. We do some research. We have our standard. Okay, this uh, various you can find from internet. Uh, the sequences that you have to go to this process. Apa If you look on this design process, identify the number number one. Eh? Identify the problem. So you have to identify the problem. Then identify criteria and constraint. Wow. So brainstorm possible solution. Okay, mula mula you identify the problem. You identify. You make uh, go visit the site, interview the your client. Client who give you the project get all the data input all the information send you prepare that send you search you identify criteria because i mean you, you define more the problem then kemudian after that you collect all the information do some background studies some research okay look on the standard whatever current technology here the standard the vendors third party involved the, maybe we involved dengan legislation we involved dengan C, uh, standard like siri eh, malaysian standard uh, our machine is malaysian standard or international standard uh, we involve the, even the market pun kita kena identify competitors. Uh, what is the manufacturing process available? I need later on, okay, so how to make a PDS and product design spec. Gather all the information, go to do, prepare to do, make sure you have strong foundation. Below you have strong foundation. When you have strong foundation, then you can generate solution. Then you can generate ideas. Nampak? Brainstorm, you need, okay, this is contoh, eh? 
generate ideas, explore possibilities, select approach. Yeah, and ini ini there is a uh, various design process. Another this one, another one. Ah, uh, this one recognition. This one is a uh, counterclockwise. Yeah? Recognition. The first is recognition of need. When we give you, okay, sometimes student uh, recognition of need. Okay, I mean, uh, you you find your own title. Lah. In our case, we already have title about uh, farm industries. Eh? Already have the title. Tapi katakan you want, sir, um, we want to propose our title pun boleh. Dulu, I do it like that. I the student propose their own title. That I approve it. I have to check. You recognize the need for you to design. Uh, you are the one who search for title. You work as a team. Recognize the need. So, recognition of it. Then you define the problem. Plan the project, gather information, <coughs> then only you generate concepts. Nampak tak? Kalau if student do not take, do not do not know about design, ini ah, they throw generate concept. Group of five, group of four, generate. Start terus, just start by generate concept. Bad mistake. They ignore all these four steps. Okay, because their foundation is not strong. They don't know anything, any issue. They don't know actually the story about that design been given to them. To know the issue, to know the story behind it, you have to go through the stages first. You have to prepare yourself well. You and your team member are well dibekalkan with equal amount of knowledge. You and your team member have been prepared by good foundation, equal amount of knowledge. What that equal amount of knowledge? PDS, mental, learning, PDS, product design spec. Nanti I, it's too later. Bahu kuat, each one of you, your PDS, then only, bila you have each one of you have all the list of information already gathered in friendly, friendly punya format, we call it PDS. So each one you have same copy. Jadi, each one of you have the same amount of knowledge. Information is there. So you don't need, then only you generate, that's why then you go separately. You go separately. You can be independent. Even you are team. Bila you want to generate idea. Pasal, you have foundation yang sama. You have a strong equal amount of knowledge. You and your team member equally have the same knowledge. Uh, Ni team leader have to play the role lah. Okay. Jadi, bila you all your team member have equal amount of knowledge, equal amount of foundation, then only you can generate as I told you. Each one generate at least three. Minimum one lah. I don't, tapi sebenarnya three lah. Or more is much better. You can generate your own ideas. Pasal you never bother dengan your team member again because you you already dibekal. Okay? You already be supplied with enough information. Abau, you can go for solution. Then only you can generate concepts. Understand? Uh, jadi, you ada ni, you can go separately. Then you come back together, brainstorm. Okay, you brainstorm, you you evaluate this idea, tengok. Jangan condemn lah, you improve this. Uh, you, this one, uh, fun process. This masa concept generation mistake. Okay, generate concept, so evaluate concept, then what can evaluate? Evaluate, I mean you select which one will be final. Select the most prominent concept, build a prototype, then you test the prototype, evaluate, test it, then you evaluate. You test the prototype, evaluate, test and result. The result lah. Sometimes bila even you are done prototype, bila you, normal, this is normal case, right? Eh? Until uh, you have built prototype, when the prototype actually is not fully 100% functioning. Always, takkan, no such thing when Right, first time tak ada, mesti ada prototype, something wrong lah, so you kena, this an iteration process, you can go, maybe something wrong about your PDS, you have to iterate balik, then you re-evaluate balik. Actually guys, design is actually not one semester sebenarnya, to tell you frankly, eh, kalau macam like you working like phone, you working with automobile industry, you want to generate a car, you want to build, apa ni, design a car eh, for Proton, let's say Proton want to, want to make a supercar, Proton want to go for supercar. Uh, you are design concept. Actually, design process, you can go. Pro actually, not one semester. It takes years. Mula-mula, you dah go through one design process cycle until you dah build the prototype. You show to the head of Proton, show to your client and Proton, they're not satisfied. No, 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 no. Something is wrong. Maybe you are lack of in terms of this product is not quite that marketable. Maybe the look and the for something wrong about it. So, you have to repeat balik the process. Nampak tak? You have to repeat balik the process. Bila you repeat balik the process, you are design team, you design concept. Benda ni take years sebenarnya. Sebenarnya to tell you technically. Tapi, benda tu you don't, benda tu actually, you benda tu you don't get so demotivated after you are not accepted. You punya first cycle not, no. You will repeat balik the cycle because all the information, your first stages to your design process take, let's say, one year. Let's say one year. That's all valuable information already gathered. When you go to the second phase, you already compile, you know what is the, you learn by mistake. All the information gathered from your PDS through the process you have learned. 
sometime through your second phase, Proton employ you, another team member, new team members datang. New team member datang to your design team. Tiba-tiba datang, second phase, second year punya phase, punya design process. Another team member, a team member, join you. Dia datang, tapi they are zero knowledge. They are fresh, right? Let's say you punya team ni ada fresh engineer just get employed. Fresh engineer just get employed, join your team. You don't have time to explain to them everything for start, but okay, do we ask them? You just show them the PDS. Yeah, that's why the good about the product. I mean, all you have been through, all the information stated. So the new team members see the PDS, all right. They have equal amount of knowledge, but almost lah. They helping them information. They will not ask you all the basic, basic question, not bothering you. They see the PDS, uh, then, 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 then they can join your team. So this is an uh, design process, design process. They also design process, can see three, first you can uh, ask, uh, Banyak eh, uh, practice, ask, research, you ask, ni cara version lain, research the problem, imagine possible, nampak tak possible solutions. Now, eh? now if you look all the design process, tak ada solution. Solutions, find the best solution. <coughs> imagine possible, nampak the first thing, lot of solution. <coughs> Lepas tu, plan select promising solution, find the best. Create prototype, try evaluate, improve. Bila try evaluate, something is not right, improve, redesign and needed. So go back, they iterate. They iterate. Design no such thing, that's it. No, the iteration. They go through cycle. Because no such thing and the first thing. All right. <clears throat> uh, this one, another one, define the problem. This one is, kita start by, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, number zero o'clock. Eh. Define the problem. Uh, bring support, so possible research, other established, select approach, and so on. Then they go communicate the result, create the solution. Kind of different in it. <clears throat> okay. Okay, yang ini yang, okay, this is what I've learned from, uh, this is my practice, what I learned through my, my master eh, in engineering design in UK. In UK, they are like this. Okay, this is the design process you have that I go through when I do my master project. You know, Pata, what is the first stage? Guys, are you listening? I'm talking. Dengar ke? Yes. yes. Uh, harap you focus lah, eh. Uh, <clears throat> apa stage ni? Nah, ini, ini yang saya belajar dulu. This is what I've learned. Actually, kita tak use this one. Kita nanti. The next slide, I show you what kita punya design. Actually, from your I2D. Okay, kalau yang what are yang ni? UK. This one called Total Design. Activity. Ada buku The Stuart Pew. Very good, this one. UKM, they use like this. UKM, if I'm not mistaken, dia punya lecturer also been trained like me also, Lafayette University and the professor there, Professor Sharum, I think. Uh, dia pun UKM, University Kebangsaan. They, they punya design ID program ni. Macam kita sister design, they use. If I'm not mistaken lah, maybe ni. This what we learn. Nampak tak apa stages ni? Tadi yang tadi yang uh, sample design process kita first is recognition of need kan, you try title kan. Tapi yang ini stages ni apa? What is the first stage there? Can you see? Apa tu? Market. Market. Ah, okay. Market. Last sekali apa? Last sekali. Sell. Kan? Uh, that's why I cakap it's good kalau kita ada team member yang good on market and sales. Nampak tak? Actually, design team, kita not just engineers. Design team ni sebenarnya, kalau you will work, you know, kata you work like you 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 work for as a design consultant for Proton to make a supercar, kata dia kata. You punya team member, not you just you engineer, you manufacturing engineer, design engineer, pure mechanical engineer, industry, no. You can invite you punya team, orang market also. People from market must be in your team, not just manufacturing engineer, not just people from market. Industrial designer also must be there. They know more aesthetic, the look, design, sketching, cantik, presentable, you know. People from marketing department and sales must be there. Because why? They know about the market. Okay, that's why I learned my design process that I've been practiced during my study. Dulu. First is market. Market survey. We go for market survey. Katakan you want to, you go for market. Kata you be given a title. You tengok market dia macam mana. You identify the market. What is the existing product there? What is the current technology they use? What is actually dia punya trend? What is the issue race? Nampak tak? You identify. That's mean you identify. It is more like, like not, kalau kita general as engineer, we call it background studies. Tetapi sebenarnya actually part is, part of it is market. Market, people, actually people from market and see ni dia tahu. Market ni pasal, kalau people, if you you have or your team member yang good on bidangnya on market, they know about uh, customer punya needs. They know about the market trend. 
Uh, because sebab apa? That's why in my through my design, the first thing we we go for market. Market survey. We do market research <coughs> to make sure bila we go to design process. Okay, and later on we have specification. This why we produce PDS. Then we concept design. We generate a lot of ideas. Then detail design. After we have the final idea, then we make a detailed design. Eh? Concept design ni kita have a lot idea, then we make detailed design. Detailed design, then kemudian kita manufacture. Macam you guys lah manufacturing kan, you guys lah manufacturing. Tapi you go through this design process. Manufacture lah. Macam, okay, you, your advantage, you are session 10, you are manufacturing. Betul tak kan? Hello guys. Hello. Yes. Betul kan? Yes. Korang yes. semua dah learn kan about manufacturing process kan? Korang have advantage on this. On this stage, you guys memang advantage. Orang tahu how to select material, betul tak? Kalau metal, betul tak? Eh? Material, selection of material, what type of manufacturing process, kalau mass production. Ah, saya bukan bidang saya, tapi more or less saya bila ni terbit lah, betul tak kan? Selection lah, you know better. So you know, nanti before you punya prototype, your prototype must be better lah. You know about the link, about, because design and manufacturing ni tak boleh ada gap. Dia ada link. Design, people and manufacturing ni. Macam you guys, you are manufacturer. So you are more, you have advantage on manufacturing side. Beside design, you learn in this course lah. Nampak? Last kali, sell. Uh, sell tu, what for? Kalau you design, you punya prototype. Berapa siapa? You punya, ni lah, you punya cow feeding machine. Cow bathing machine. <coughs> you design lah. Memang you punya present, you punya prototype, memang working. Your prototype is working. Memang, memang, memang fulfill all the requirements set from your product design specification. Eh? Memang you, you punya final idea, you develop detail design, you do analysis. You make a drawing and you do the prototype and you punya prototype memang working. Tetapi at the end, something wrong tau. Cannot be market. Cannot be sell. Cannot be sell. That's why, that's why. Kalau ada people from me, sell ni something that is something that kita lack of. Um, sometimes our machine memang working. A lot of product eh. Kalau I tengok eh. Banyak product. They release, they do already. They release product. Tapi dia punya product not tak menjadi di pasaran. Not working in the market. Not marketable. Something wrong about it. Uh, because sell ni is something like kalau, I don't know, you learn or not. Okay, kalau you ada, pasal kita ada join dengan Ahim kan, Azman Hashim kan. Kalau ada team member tu, they know. They are good on that. Dia orang kan, that student, they know about, for example, what I've learned eh, masa my master course ni, I learn. I learn pasal I did engineering design course. One of my courses tu dalam master tu, about marketing ada. What I could remember marketing tu, Okay, bila kita dah design our prototype, kita make sure our prototype ni must be marketable. Dia ada, kalau you are studying marketing, eh, dia ada 4P. 4P, itu yang saya ingat-ingat sekarang. Product, place, price and promotion. You mean product you, make sure product tu must be marketable lah, ada 4P. Product, your price. Price, harga yang you jual, the price of your product. You, kalau you, you jual too expensive, people not buy. The first thing is about product. Product, what is the product you want to design now? Pasal ini kita dah go to the design process ni. Kita dah do market survey pada eco stage. Memang product tu memang yes, right? Tapi the second is price. Nampak tak? You dah build your prototype. Tapi you sell, you punya prototype is too expensive, people will not buy. If you tell, sell too low price, you will become not profit, kan? You cannot make profit. So what is just a nice price? Ah, uh, itu product already there. Dua product pasal you dah go to design process. That is a product is there. But the second one term, dia 4P. For first is product. You go to design process, memang product dah okay, cantik. Second is price. Ah, uh, ni price. Ni people from marketing ni. Kalau you ada team, if you are team member from marketing, dia tahu. Macam mana you want to identify the price? Price. Okay, you say you buat cow feeding, cow feeding system. Eh, you ada dua. Satu soalan doing cow basing system. If your price is too expensive, pasal you buat prototype, you will list down nanti. You akan, nanti I want to see you punya costing kan. Component involved, even you do virtual tax, something you will estimate the total price. Kalau your price is too expensive, the company will not buy. Then any farm industry yang involved with cow, farm industries yang involved, buat, buat, yang involved like Felda, like and so on, semua, will not buy your punya machine. Too expensive. Uh, then people yang good on this, you have my, my knowledge, price. Lepas tu, apa? Product, price, place, place. Where do you want to place? Demography. Eh? Demography. Where you want to place your product? Kalau you sell your product dekat country, dekat zone where people tak ada farm, people more on IT punya place, di tengah tak kena, tak kena. Understand tak? Place, place. And for promotion. Okay, product, price, place, promotion. Promotion, ah, ni campaigning, campaigning. Ah, ni people yang sales marketing, diorang pandai. Campaigning. Certain product, they are sebenarnya certain product kalau I tengok in the market, the product itu so-so, not so good tetapi dia punya campaigning or marketing. They spend million of dollars on advertisement for example. 
campaigning. They spend, they invest a lot of money on advertisement. Tapi dia product is actually biasa-biasa dia compare dengan lain bukan dia. Tetapi dia are good, dia are marketable. People will buy dia punya food. Ada setengah product is really good. Eh? Banyak lot of product I see. Like, very good, very very nice. Tetapi tak ada on dia tak profit. Mereka dia unlock something. Lepas dia tak implement this 4P lah. Price, place, itu lah. Uh, not marketable. I don't know why. Something that kita that kita beyond itu. That's why we need people from market and sell. Tapi tak necessary depend on that. kalau you buat some research boleh ni. Remember, kalau you tengok 4P, you tengok search internet lah eh. Kalau you search internet, YouTube, you check 4P. 4P, 4P in marketing. 4P, price, place. You tengok, ada YouTube can explain to you very simple about it. Make sure that you punya product. Not just you go in dalam through design process, you successfully fabricate, uh, manufacture your product. Also, you punya product must be, can be sell, marketable. That's why yang tu, it depend on the first stage tadi, market. You buat market survey. Kalau market survey on your first stage is not right, you cannot sell it. Okay, yang ni kita punya design process lah. Okay guys, ni kita punya design process uh, yang kita implement. <coughs> yang tadi tu yang siapa-siapa uh, yang what I practice ini, tetapi kita dah rombak kan. We dah ni, this our design process. Okay, ini actually what you have, uh, uh, you learn already I2D kan. Eh? Tetapi different from your I2D tu, uh, kita ada design in bawah lima ni. Design bawah lima. Okay, kalau kita tengok eh, kita punya design process ni, recognition of need. Okay, recognition of need as I told you. Sama ada you as a student, you find your own title or apa tu, macam in our case, we already have the title, I assign you. So recognition of need tu bukan cakap kita ignore, you have to do something juga eh. You've been given the title. Kalau katakan you don't, we don't have title. Sometimes uh, in my previous class, I ask my student to be in the pada pasal you are finally again, you are group of five. I want you to be matured. I want you to be self enabled. You find your own title. Because sekarang ni title ni, macam uh, for example, the trend sekarang title ni kita nak ada ciri pasal ESC panel ni. Eh? Engineering Attribution uh, Committee ni, dia akan check. Eh? They want to all the program run, run by university. Mesti uh, in design courses like this, system design, mesti ada sustainability. Any title proposed to student, any project title for design project, mesti ada ciri-ciri. Dia ada about 17 punya type. Sust Nanti I share you later lah. Uh, sustainability punya punya element-element of sustainability must be there. Sustainability macam dia ni. Eh? So make sure that you punya title ada that kind of element. Okay, and in our case, we already give you the title about cow, cow farm, uh, farm industries. So record, but you have to prevent it. Okay, after you've given the title, the second stage, you have to problem definition. You have to define the problem. Uh, this design process you have to follow. You define the problem. So define the problem. You given the title, then you have to prepare some design brief first. Eh? So you make a clear problem statement. After you uh, check your design brief, actually design brief you share to your client. Eh? Your client will be the farm industry. You send to their boss and they, 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 they agree on your design brief and you bring it back to me. Then then because through your design brief, it's like, um, it like, it's like, like uh, executive summary, ringkasan project. So your client agree. Pasal your client will tell you when you visit the opinion industry you asking about the project your punya client akan do verb talk 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 lah you jot down what the talk talk tapi there is no kind like a formal punya yang yang solid punya statement concise statement about what actually we are going to do they just talk talk to you macam like this one okay you already given the title you have to contact the company you as, as a team eh? so you talk to your client eh? the farm industry fit mail eh? the company fit mail then you translate by the, your conversation with them, you have to prepare the design brief. Okay, below you have a design brief. Design brief like a clear problem statement. Nanti I will guide you later. Not in the our second meeting, eh? not in this meeting. Okay, below you have that one, then only the second stages of design, then you define your problem. Ataupun sometimes, uh, another stage they call it problem identification. To me, problem definition. You define more your view. From your design brief, you have a clear problem statement, what what you punya general statement lah. Tapi you know a clear statement eh. What you going to design, why you design it, to whom you design for, plus constraint. Uh, from there you have a clear problem statement. And then then you can more go define it. Define it. Define it by a lot of technique lah. I mean define it kind like you like do background studies lah. That's a technique to do there. First you do like my mapping, objective three. So you, you, so to, you go, you know the punya apa, you know the, actually what the direction you want to go to find information. Sometimes at this early stage, you don't know, you don't have any idea what type of information you need. That's why you have to discuss a group. You have to define the problem. Problem definition. Define it to mean you can, you have to, you have to, what we call it to, um, 
elaborate more from the problem statement we have to elaborate where is the direction to go a lot of things nanti i will i guide you lah macam like my mapping objective three and so on then you can find all sort of information available nanti i will i will uh, lecture you lah about this okay then from there you gather all the information and you because you are a team of five bukan one man job eh each one of you you must have a team leader team leader mesti ada team leader has to play a role make sure you delegate all your team member to search for information this is a stage from your problem segment tadi so you search you from your mind mapping then you know the direction where to go from there you search information all what type of source information i will guide you later in the second or third in your lecture okay what source of information about standard about the what is the current design what is existing product what is market trend right now Besides, you visit the place. Pasal sekarang kita pandemik, eh, Stuart, you cannot visit the place. Sebenarnya, the best thing dalam design, when we give you project, the first week you have to go there, fit me in the uh, farm industry ni. You will go, when you go visit, you get well, you will have a lot of information. You will collect information. You bring your jot, uh, logbook, uh, your notebook, you jot down all the information, dia punya manual labor job, how the this farm industry, manual, they feeding the cow, they raising the cow, how they is their practice, what time, what rate. Then uh, dia punya, what is the order they use and so on. You know all the dia punya, the situation, the, what is happening there. All the data to you collect. Uh, from there, you, that is information. Information. Okay, beside the information, another what source of information is uh, what is the standard we have to use, what is legislation we have to obey for farm industry, uh, what is our competitor's product, what is our vendor's third, third party yang involved dengan farm uh, feeding device, ni, cow feeding or cow feeding. Uh, maybe there is certain, certain... Uh, Uh, vendor certain third party uh, manufacturers yang boleh support in 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 to for us to uh, for our solution for our prototype we going to be tapi at this moment kita tak find solution kita not soft lah lawak kita searching information background study ni problem ni you do background search information so you group of five so group member group leader make sure all your team members search information tapi before search information that's why you have to under problem definition stage ni you have to prepare it. you have to structure it to structure it before you search information. So like technique like mind mapping, objective, that kind of structure lah. Then you have to identify what what source of information you want. You can get information through visit, to visit, uh, ask the, apa tu, look on the current product, analogy product, product yang quite similar, uh, any vendors or third party, you interviewer your client, you can go for standard, you can go for legislation, you can go even for pattern. Okay, I just uh, miss up today. Important thing, pattern, you know, pattern, pattern, any pattern design in the internet, maybe certain pattern too you can implement dalam uh, you punya solution nanti lah. And so on. Because when you and all your group members, five members, each one of you do not, and make sure all your team members do not search the same information, it's a waste. You as a group leader, make sure you search information, you search information, you search information. Information yang different. Bila compile, baru strong, you have a lot of compiled, comprehensive information. Kalau each one of you search for the same information, is totally you, you, when you combine, shallow information. Kalau each one of you search different, different information, but related to your project, you do this one, you search on this, when you compile, very good, uh, comprehensive punya information. Bila you gather the information, now you gather all the information you compile together. Bila you gather information, uh, that this about the process how you formulate the information. You formulate information, then then you form, then because you punya team member A, dia ni search information. Team uh, student B search information ni. Tapi when you compile together, you want it's a matter of you to how you could easily sharing information, each one of you idea understand all the information collected. Uh, so that's how you have to translate. The process of translating a format, a nice format really is what we call product design spec, PDS. Ini semua kau dah belajar ni, saya cakap sampai <coughs> penat ni. Dah belajar dulu itu dia, ya, ingat apa saya cakap dengan PDS, product design spec. Product design spec ni, you translate all the information gathered, eh, you and your team member, into a easy like transcript. Dia ada ikut heading, performance, cost, berapa cost yang you you expect, dia punya material, apa, and so on, and so on. Dia, dia bukan shallow. PDS ni lot two, three pages in effort. You, bila you dah buat all this PDF, because PDF ni, dia represent you punya checklist, you, the requirement, the requirement. PDF ni represent you all the information you dah gather, you transform it into simpler version, tetapi easily can be sharing among your team members. So you, you and your team members sharing the same knowledge. It means the point of PDS, you and your team member 
sharing equal amount of information and knowledge. Bau kuat, uh, then only foundation you kuat. Uh, bukan kita not just straight away jump to solution, salah. Bila foundation, okay, each one of you have the same copy. Uh, lepas tu, you and your team can be independent first. You can be independent. Then you can, then only we go for third stage, conceptual design. Uh, ini yang selalu student, kalau people, student who not learning design, terus conceptual design. Totally wrong lah. Totally wrong. Dia tak ada PDS pun tak ada. So, bila you, each one of you have a copy of PDS, bila you nak generate idea, you look on your PDS, you dah tahu lah. What you gonna do? Okay, because foundation is strong. Information is quite strong. Then only you can produce good ideas. Macam each, each one of you, I cakap lah, try to produce each one, three ideas kan, not just one. <coughs> Tapi minimum one lah. Bau bagus, independent. Each one of you, they pernah produce each or her individual idea. Then only you come back together, brainstorming. Faham tak, class? Hello? Kalau senyap ni, saya risau. Faham. Baru lepas tu, korang jangan terus tiba-tiba produce idea tak boleh. Korang kena go through this. Nanti kita second lecture lah, not now. Korang ni banyak sangat cakap ni, okay? Then you come back together. Tak tu yang cakap, PDS tu mesti ada lah. Mesti Each one of you have the same copy. Nanti you, your team member, never bother you as a team leader. You never bother you. You punya team member dah tahu dah. Dia takkan tanya stupid question. Eh, ni, ni, we want to design ni, how much power ni, eh, berapa dia punya size, tak ada. No size ni. Kalau you team member, you ketuk kepala. Tok, knock, knock, knock. So, dia rasa cakap macam ni. Awak dah baca PDS ke belum? Ha, cakap. Kalau dia dah baca PDS, ha, dia normal ask you basic stupid question. You know what's going to do. Everything is there. That's why you have to prove it. Itu, we have to go. Foundation mesti strong. Before kita go for great way to solution. Ha, ni konsep tu design. Eh. Normally ni people not design, terus konsep tu design. Wrong tu. Konsep tu, you produce, you sit down together. Kita cakap kalau each one of you three ideas, you sit down together, you ada 15 ideas. Lagi cantik. <coughs> Tapi panjang je akhir lah. 15 ideas evaluate lah. Lepas tu brainstorming. Katakanlah let's say each one of you one idea. Sit down together, five ideas. Okay, five ideas. Then you brainstorming all the five ideas. Brainstorming, brainstorming ni, uh, ni konsep design. Brainstorming it means you look on your punya friend, your friend send your punya ideas to you, then you look, you jangan condemn. You look, you give positive. Brainstorming ni method dia jangan tam. Do not condemn your friend. Give positive. Put some comment yang positive. Uh, ni is better you add. You look on his or her sketches. Sketch eh. Then you pass around. Student B pass to team member C. C pass to D. Then they go to cycle. Then the student A tadi will receive balik dia punya sketching even been evaluated, not condemned, eh? remember not condemned, be evaluated by student B, C, D, B, C, D, B, C, D, E. You student, B, apa ni? You student A, B, C, D, E. Be better. Si tengok. Oh, so you do modification. Dia bukan condemn. You give goes to Oh, maybe ya, betul lah. You modify your concept. Each person have the name. Itu to brainstorming. I know you know. Nanti kita boleh go through this. Then one concept, okay, bila, bila, okay, kalau banyak you punya brainstorming session to, to lot of session, then, then you generate another concept, you modify concept, brainstorming again is much better. Until the end, you are satisfied with you punya sketching, been, itulah, so you have you punya, you punya ideas getting better and better and better. Okay, after that, we will evaluate, we will evaluate, okay, after you punya dah go to brainstorming, brainstorming session, you will evaluate. We will evaluate our... <coughs> These five sketches, each one, let's say, let's say each one of you one can say. So these five ideas, we will evaluate which one will come to go to the four stages in the final design. Which one will be, actually there's another thing as champion. Sebenarnya champion ni, yang lain yang, yang team member yang not selected, dia punya final design, not become champion, but got so disappointed. Actually final design, the champion is a combination. Sometimes it will always lah, always it happen, it will a combination of your punya, among team members lah, combination. Pasal you've been evaluating, evaluate. Eh? Kita ada certain criteria. Okay, to select the criteria to evaluate which one is the best design to other cara. Ni kita akan go through this later lah. Final design. Bila you ada final design, okay, ini yang different from your ITD. Bila you ada final design, then you go for detail design. Eh? Final design means your final sketches. You know, group of five, this is your champion lah. Why can it champion? The best design. So you present to me, then I will check it. I maybe as a lecturer, I will check lah. I can approve. Maybe I make some certain comment through my experience lah. I will guide and make some certain comment. You do some improvement. Okay, the, the, the next stage, then only you go for detail design. Detail design, uh, ini yang 
you are the implement this is the design you can check because you can find the design you have okay you bought cow feeding machine for example at this moment you the you the other final sketch you more you more detail it maybe you you can start doing solid work modeling lah solid work modeling you identify all the component all the parts all the standard standard component involved to make your to design your machine okay to design your machine uh, then you have a list of because you remember you have learned engineering drawing right and eh? you 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 make assembly of your component first you make part modeling assembly so you identify because at this moment you don't know your punya detail design you don't know that your punya before you do prototype it is before prototype you don't know all every single not just one person you bukan one man job even this a team you and your team member each single piece of component you tahu of your final design kalau one of you group member don't know it mean dia tak ni then dia tak dia tak play the role is your in your team member know every ha the member i think every single component of your detail design your final design okay some of you bukan semua buat solid work mungkin some of you one of you focus or make sure one of your team member they strong in doing cat eh solid work then share semua so each one of you know every single pieces of a component of your machine i'm talking about solid work then you know the list of bom bill of meter remember you've learned engineering the list of the bill of meter you know every single component even a single screw and nut understand me guys are you listening or not class yes yes sir yes. Uh, uh, every single even a screw a washer single piece pun korang dah hafal faham faham tak remember tahu you punya final design understand kalau you tahu you list bom tu kena tahu ah uh, lepas tu design embodiment ni Uh, detail design tu bila you dah prepare you ada list okay even the material sorry okay ni advantage ini advantage for you you are not pure material you are manufacturing yang ini so ini ni advantage for you you are manufacturing type material BOM bukan hanya list of component not just the name kan ada satu lagi material kan you dah ada material yang you identify of your component ni you know better than pure mechanical betul tak saya cakap am i right plus Are you listening? Yes. Yes. Okay, by the way, saya lupa cakap. Line saya ada putus-putus ke? Tak ada eh? Ada. Ada. Ada, saya ada. Oh, saya tak kat awal-awal. Putus-putus banyak ke apa? Sekarang okey ke? Sekarang okey. Tadi pertengahan tadi saya. Okay, bila tu lah. Bila you dah know list component dalam pasal you study, you are manufacturer, you know much better about the material eh? material you know pasal you not just identify your component just select material pasal you know you are manufacturing punya background you know better and you know better. even you know better than me you punya component you punya part dalam you punya cow feeding machine tu kenapa you select this material ha, itu yang ni bila you have list bm and material okay then you apply design embodiment it means that you must make sure okay bila you have a list of your bill of material then uh, you implement uh, design for manufacture design for assembly and the technique will be explained later lah to make sure that all the mula-mula you have a list of component tetapi component-component you have to you have to know every single piece sometimes the component component that you that you your in your this detailed design that you from your final design the component that you identify before you do prototype sometimes the component too is uh, too much it's not optimum it's not the best because in term of you have to take a term like design for assembly So make sure that component tu easy to assemble. In case certain component can be reduced down, can be simplified. Satu lagi, another, we have to implement the tools designed for manufacture. So make sure that component component tu is apa dia, dia not just good design for example, also good for manufacture. It means for manufacture, it means uh, the component tu easy to can be easy to manufacture. Certain component not, uh, we can reduce down certain component. Macam If let's say we have a lot of bolt and, and screw, okay, uh, bolt and nuts and screw or washer, sometimes we can replace it by using snap fit, snap fit, something certain, not necessary because if you have screw and you have nut, bolt and nut, you have a lot, you have eight items, right? Maybe for example, easy to assemble, you can replace it by snap fit. Snap fit to mean simplify in term, easy to assemble and also easy to manufacture. So we have, we have, we have implement this will be teach later eh? we will guide you design for manufacture design for assembly and also design efficiency lah 
Uh, after that, we will apply technique on FMEA. Uh, this one I don't talk much. This one will, you will be learn later. I will, I will guide you. Uh, FMEA, failure mode effect, uh, failure mode effect analysis. Failure mode effect analysis is where we will identify at which component in our list of component of our prototype we're gonna build before we build. Eh? So we have to identify which component yang critical, which component yang we have to identify which part yang critical and got to be analyzed. For example, that's more roughly to explain about FMA, failure mode effect series. You mean each component dalam in your list BOM, you check out it which part yang critical. Critical you mean yang should be analyzed, like critical in terms of analyze or can some statement, eh? failure mode, this component, failure mode, apa, effect, apa. so what, failure mode effect, analysis. So what, what should be done to, to solve that problem? Either we do engineering analysis, either we do like ergonomic, either we replace material and so on. I told you, you will make a chart nanti, eh? the FMA dengan FMA. Until this one, don't worry, I will guide you later about this. So this all the technique, the tools that we use under design. Because after that, after design embodiment, then only you prepare after design, then you will do engineering analysis. Uh, you have to calculate because because dalam when you design a machine, not all component will do engineering analysis. Certain component they're not that critical. So which one is critical is already stated in your FMEA chart, FMEA table. And here I will guide you later. You know which part yang should be analyzed. Okay, from there then you know which one you can. You have learned like component mentioned component design. The belajar kan? Uh, yeah, again, uh, it's a young to last certain part to you have to do some analysis. Maybe you can do FME, uh, you can do a uh, final element analysis and so on. By solo or uh, analysis, uh, uh, where you have learned for, uh, your knowledge from your solid mechanic uh, or machine company. At the end, after you are done analysis, then you will prepare engineering drawing. Class, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Um, itulah uh, after itu after FMEA because bukan not all part you have to analyze yang certain certain part yang critical only. Bila you have done engineering analysis, okay then only you buat a set of working drawing. Remember you punya engine drawing ke set of working drawing. A set of working drawing. Uh, when you have assembly drawing of your machine, you have exploded drawing of your machine plus you have detailed drawing of your machine. A set. A set, eh? so ini bukan one man job lah, all team member involved lah. Faham kan working drawing, guys? Hello? Yes. A set of working yeah. drawing, eh? So itu adalah, then only, bila once you have engine drawing, then only you can do prototype. Prototype. Oh, as a new member, dalam design embodiment, another thing, uh, design costing also you will learn. Eh? Not just the FMA uh, design for manufacture and assembly and FMA, also design costing also you will check. Eh? Design costing. Costing. Eh? You, kita pakai Lucas costing. Macam kita, that's why lah, costing also important how you, how you, apa ni, estimate the cost eh? based on your Lucas costing. Then you produce your engineering drawing. And set of working. Bila you ada a drawing, bila you ada engineering drawing, then only you can do fabricating. You can do prototype. Then you can manufacture. Because we cannot manufacture kalau kita tak ada drawing. Kalau you work dengan industries, okay, you collaboration. You punya prototype ni will be machined by machinist on the floor. Kan? At the engineering floor, manufacturing floor, ada machinist. Machinist ni, dia punya job order, dia punya job sheet dia, yeah, is engineering drawing. Betul tak? Kan? The engineer will send or the supervisor will send the, all the machinists when certain machinists they are doing on drilling, certain on milling, certain on lacing, and certain on doing welding and so on. Their job order is an engineering drawing. Uh, that's why kita as design team engineer, kita kena produce our prototype ni, kita kena produce a set engine drawings. Jadi, in for your case, you kena set lah, SMD, Explorer, and plus you punya Detail drawing, detail drawing to all your component drawing, that's very important. Detail drawing to you, kita, with that detail, all the drawing of the component, 
then you can do prototype uh, prototype and documentation okay tetapi the prototype see as i told you kita pandemic okay i'm not sure uh, on the week nine either kita blended or kita go back back to face kata let's say kita assume kita fully online so the prototype ni will be virtual lah uh, you buat drawing sajalah kita virtual prototype is more you model in solidwork and so on Okay, yeah, that's um, what for the name, right? Are the question now? So this is our design process. Faham? Faham, sir. All right, are the questions in the question? Are the question? I think the only two hours I spent, sorry, eh? sorry, eh? two hours. So I think um, at this as, as a first day lecture is a uh, banyak dah saya explain uh, I think that's all lah for for the time being I want to explain you about design process nanti apa-apa kita continue on the our second meeting ada apa-apa question setakat ni uh, about CI nanti I will explain uh -huh. CI uh, our CI course information and CLOP itu I explain on the our textbook okay I already share you eh uh, just to share you all the all on uh, e-learning you can uh, and also your attendance yeah nanti kejap attendance biasa at the end of class uh, go for attendance Okay, uh, sekarang ni, uh, class, can you see my, ni, e-learning, can you see the e-learning? Yes, yes, yes. that is. I already put, uh, so all the documents there, your CLO, PO is here, nanti you want to move more, more on the second meeting, I explain about CI ni. Uh, as I told you, just roughly lah, we don't have, uh, kita punya, on apa ni, we don't have, apa tu, we don't have test, we don't have final exam, kita project based lah, mainly you go through all this one semester through your project, eh kita go part by part eh. okay, until at the end until we finish our project okay and also i already put your uh, student have all, all the notes involved you can slow and the textbook okay the textbook is there you can we use your our and the notes yeah you hand out yeah the notes you can refer for your extra information textbook we use a lot of textbook i already put here but we use alman U L L M N alman textbook that's our main book okay you can refer there to go more detail what I've been explaining in this course. Um, okay, uh, okay, just to share you a little bit lah. You want to know the about the CI, you know, CI course information. <clears throat> Ni boleh nampak eh? Course information. Oh, not myself, sorry, sorry, not myself. From system design, okay, go. System design, okay, go. Uh, boleh nampak tak system design, Ustaz? Boleh, boleh. Is it stated system design, betul eh? Nampak ni, ni. Yes. Ah, tadi salah. Tadi tu intro tu wrong. Intro tu I2D. Ni system design nampak eh? Boleh eh? Okay, so you have CLO. So we have, okay, just uh, to week one. Okay, the week one. If you look on week one, kita major project assignment lah. Eh? Major project. Uh, so we have, uh, uh, week two we have to form the feed. Week one ni kita more discussion about the project. Eh? Group assignment eh? Groupnya ni. You sign group. 
week 2 yang kita fokus PDS, week 3 PDS lagi dan kemudian kita konsep to design week 5 kita konsep to design lagi kemudian kita evaluate konsep on week 6 then initial in design embodiment saya cakap ah, ni material selection saya cakap BOM bio material then semester break then after semester break then we go for design for X lah from our final design tu kita implement design FMA panel mode effect analysis design efficiency after that uh, still on that week 10 then week 11 kita communication nanti teknik how you you kena uh, we have you have some uh, few presentation you have to present to me i want to see your progress eh? presentation report writing so on so on lepas tu kita go for virtual prototyping eh pasal kita assume that last kali week 12 from week 12 to week Actually, benda ni week 14 eh, kita exclude the semester break week 14 lah, week 14, kita go for virtual prototype, uh, assume that is a 100% fully online, okay, virtual prototype, so you mean you are need, okay, kita punya assessment uh, mainly on your, tu lah eh, on your punya, on your project, okay, on your project. on your project. So, dia punya mapping itu, I will share you later lah, you punya, you punya, what, nothing is a mapping, how do we assess you punya, okay, this is how we assess you punya project. Boleh nampak tak Excel ni? Hello class. Boleh, boleh. Nampak, ah, nampak. Ini, alright, research background dia ada individual. Tapi ada orang ini on second meeting tak apa-apa. Semua ada research background, group individual. Ini mapping dia lah. Make sure you tengok. Ini semua already I put dalam e-learning dah. E-learning dah ada dah. Ah, mapping rubric. Kalau tengok dalam e-learning tu. Ada CM mapping rubric. You you work smart eh guys. Bukan work hard. Work hard, work hard juga lah. Tapi don't work that so hard work smart also. You tengok macam mana research background. You tengoklah nanti kita bincang ni on the second meeting. Mapping the soil you total your 100%. 50% group point, 50% individual point. Totally your 100 point of your week. Okay. So this course I cakap explain to you. We don't have a uh, exam, tutorial, uh, assignment, assignment dan kita totally project based. Pasal kita this uh, design courses and kita uh, more kepada teamwork, studio work semua lah. Dia banyak on that eh. Kita uh, kita like active learning. Kita learn through through communication, through discussion. Kita bukan so like directive like other courses lah. Bukan macam tu. Eh. Through you have to guide fully once. Ini you, I have you have to be said. I just guide you basically eh, about design process. So make sure you're on the right track. And at yang lain tu semua you you have to be work as a team as independent. Okay guys, I think that's all for today. I think sorry eh, taking you too long until two o'clock non-stop. Nanti tak ada break. So, ada apa-apa question, tanya dulu before saya go for attendance. Ada apa-apa question, saya kena. Tak ada. Okay, kalau tak ada question, tak ada question eh? Boleh scan eh, tender. Okay, see you. Oh, sorry, sorry guys. Yang saya tolong, 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 sekejap. Uh, apa tadi? Uh, kejap, kejap. Kejap, kejap. Before you scan, hold on. Kejap. Uh, I'm table. Our second meeting on bila? Second meeting on Wednesday. See you on Wednesday. Okay, scan your attendance. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Welcome. Thank you, doctor. Welcome.